Chief of Staff in the Prime Minister's Office, Ambassador Lionel Hurst, says discussions are still underway as to Liat's future. However, the government's stance on the matter has not changed. Liat, uh, we are of the view, uh, must be resuscitated and not buried. Liat's regional stakeholders, he says, were scheduled to meet Monday afternoon. And that meeting uh, was postponed because the Prime Minister of Barbados said that another matter of greater importance uh, I took her away from, I would take her away from that meeting. We are awaiting another time uh, that can be set by the Prime Minister of Barbados, which will be convenient uh, to uh, all the other Prime Ministers whose countries are major shareholders in Liat. Ambassador Hurst says Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, the Honorable Gaston Brown, has already submitted a plan detailing the likelihood of saving the beleaguered carrier. Especially as it relates to staff, the other states seemingly have agreed that they would pay on the basis of the labor contracts that are in existence in their states. Hearst says should that be the agreement reached, St. Vincent and the Grenadines would pay $1 million to its staff, Barbados $7 million, and Antigua and Barbuda almost $80 million. Uh, we know that that is inequitable and we know that they know that that is inequitable. Uh, it is this kind of fight which the Honorable Gaston Brown, as the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, is taking to his colleagues with the expectation that the, that kind of inequity could not possibly be agreed to. Liat employs close to 800 people across the region. Some 400 of those employees operate here in Antigua and Barbuda. Rakib Aparicio putting for ABS News.